Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, in today's video we're going to be talking about the fastest and best ways to get caps and of course if I leave anything out that you would like to mention in the comments I would love to hear it. Um, we always get great comments you know that are pointing out stuff that I have missed so just pay attention to the, the comments everybody as well when you're watching my videos. We have a lot of veterans watching the channel as well and they are very knowledgeable. So I just wanted to point that out. But with that said let's get into the video. So obviously one of the best ways to get caps is from your vending machine. Now I do want to suggest a site and it's called Fed76 and you can put your guns in here with the the legendary effects and it will tell you how much the gun is worth or if it's trade only. It's just a very useful site and I would recommend it when you're, you know, buying or selling your guns, especially selling them and then that way you can get what they're worth and you're not overpricing them and you're not upsetting people. Um, I just want to point out too, I'm going to put a link in the description that goes into more depth about selling stuff in your vendor. I have another video that I did that you may want to check it out and like I said, I will We'll link that into the description it basically talks about some of the best stuff to sell in your vendor and since I already did a video on it I figure I would just link that but definitely selling is one of the best ways um, I just want to say too at Fort Defiance here you can get straight jackets they're 50 to 100 caps each not a bad way to clear out the vendors for 1400 caps every day um, at the train stations the vendors have 1400 caps that you can clear out if you didn't know and you can only do this once every 20 hours and it's for all vendors it, it will uh, reset so once you go to one vendor and clear out 1400 caps you'll have to wait 20 hours from that moment you started clearing them out so just keep that in mind but with that said the way to do that I would recommend going to West Tech Mr. West Tech I gotta recommend West Tech obviously so <laughs> with that said it is a great way to clear out the train station vendors like it really is like the super mutants have tons of caps on them anyway but if you just go around West Tech and clear it out once or twice and collect all the guns then you will pretty much clean out the vendor as long as you have hard bargain on which is a perk card that I'm gonna show you in a second but yeah just run West Tech a couple times and pick up all the guns don't scrap them pick them all up as much as you can carry and bring them to the vendor I'm going to show in a second here too um, guns I would recommend hanging on to and not hanging on to just so you can get more money and carry better ones. Like if it's a 10 millimeter pistol at West Tech or a board I would just scrap stuff like that. Um, the higher end rifles like a sharpshooter or a charging laser sniper rifle sell for a little bit more. I wouldn't keep a super sledge I would scrap that and maybe even the hunting rifles. I would just go for assault rifles, missile launchers and uh, laser sniper rifles if you can. And as you're gonna see here, like they will clear out the vendor extremely fast. Like this is all you have to do. Maybe like I said, once or twice and you will have the vendor cleared out. And then as you can see, I'm going back to a train station here. I, I can't find a faster way. The straight jackets aren't bad, but definitely just selling the weapons I got at West Tech. Like look how fast that money starts going down. Like I had 280 caps I was still able to get I sold like five or six guns here and then you know I already took all the caps so I'm sure I could have got at least six seven eight hundred caps here so like I said not even two runs and you'll be able to clear out the train station vendors so yeah just keep that in mind and uh, yeah West Tech's always a good place to go to <laughs> um, yeah um, distant thunder is another good one too you can kill a bunch of enemies quick it's a random event that happens in the cranberry I'd recommend to you can pick up a lot of good weapons to sell there too another great way to get caps is events now I want to start with radiation rumble because it's not really good for caps per se but it's good for glowing blood and if you pick up as much glowing blood as you can from this event and bring it to a train station it is gonna sell for a lot of caps very quick way to get caps but just events in general, like specifically Moonshine Jamboree that I'm showing here, and I'm going to show Eviction Notice, are just absolutely amazing for caps. Um, Test Your Metal is another good one too that I didn't throw in here. Um, there's like even a little gold iBot that goes around that you can get two, three hundred caps uh, from as well. So that's another good event to go to for caps. But Moonshine Jamboree, as you can see, all the caps were right there. And I do highly recommend Eviction Notice too. 
Um, very good for caps, especially legendaries too. Just throwing that in there, eviction notice is absolutely amazing for getting legendary script. And it is two times legendary script right now. So if you see these events on and you need caps or legendaries, highly recommend going to them. This was just me at after Moonshine Jamboree, I think. Like, you know, that's just a little bit of it. You can't, I'm not even showing all the caps I picked up. Um, another thing to keep an eye out for are certain enemies, like the uh, Mega Sloth has a lot of caps on him. I couldn't kill this guy. I love him. He wasn't going to hurt me. But if you can kill him, he will have caps on him. Um, Grafted Monster is another enemy that will have a decent amount of caps on him. Um, I think I've seen up to 30, maybe 50 caps on the Grafted Monster. Maybe not 50, but up to 30 I think I've got off of him. And the Behemoth as well here, too, has a good amount of caps on them. So if you're able to take out these enemies, just, you know, keep in mind that they have a good amount of caps. And if you do all, like, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, like 17, 18, 20 caps, but if you're constantly doing this, everything adds up, and that's really the best way to get caps. Um, I wanted to point out, too, make sure you're joining a team. Everyone in your team that completes a mission will award you caps, so you can just be sitting there earning caps. Highly recommend to join a team. Make sure you, you newer people are joining teams. It's just so beneficial. Please make sure you're doing that. Another thing I'm going to get into too is you can go around and collect cap stashes. I will put another link in the description to all the cap stash locations. And you can just go around to them with these perk cards that I'm going to show. And you can start collecting them and you will get a lot of caps fairly quickly. If, if you're into it, you know. Um, it can be a bit tedious, but you will get lots of caps. Um, you want Cap Collector on, you will find more caps in these stashes. And then there's another perk that will give you like a little audio notice that will let you know that you're close to a cap stash, a directional audio um, in technical terms. And that perk card is called Fortune Finder. So if you're going to be going around looking for these cap stashes, make sure you have these two perk cards on. And again, I will link in the description all the perk, um, or sorry, all the cap stash locations. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about too, everybody, if you don't know, Reddit is amazing for caps. Like this is me, you know, offering 20,000 caps for 200 Barry Mentats. Now I know I probably could have got a better deal, but there's people like me, like always wanting to buy stuff with caps on there. I've made tons of caps off Reddit. You would be surprised. Definitely get on Reddit if you're serious about playing Fallout. Trust me, it's like a must. Um, I can't recommend it enough. I just, Reddit is amazing for trading. Um, and caps. Whatever you want, you can pretty much get on Reddit for the right price. And yeah, highly, highly recommend if you're into Fallout 76, then, you know, maybe set up a Reddit account. Highly recommend it. And that's it, everybody. Again, if, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And again, thank you so much for watching, everybody. 5,200 subscribers. And, you know, it doesn't seem like we're slowing down. You guys are awesome, man. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks again for watching, everybody. Take care.